Hello world! Today we'll be using the Media Pipe library to track our hands and our fingertip. But first, let me show you where I'm currently at in building an Iron Man heads up display, just in case you're new to my channel. So I'm going to run this. Now, this will be from my web, um, my laptop's webcam and not my real webcam that I would like to use. And so um, the quality is not the best. And I'm recording at 30 frames per second, and the video is set to 30 frames per second. So it's smooth on my end, but it might be choppy on the video. So this is my heads up display so far. Uh, you'll notice it's the date and the time. Uh, when I use my webcam, it is centered. And so, or any external cam besides my webcam, this is centered onto the frame. Then you'll know here I have a you'll notice here I have an overlay of my laptop plugged into the uh, the wall the AC power and if I remove it it switches to battery and then it also reduces down just like an iPhone would plug it back in all right and then the AC power goes back on. And so I can also do uh, my Gmail notifications. So what I'm going to do is uh, unread a or mark an email unread right now. Um, I'm going to cut that out, of course. OK, and so you'll see in the overlay, we have a Gmail icon with the number one. OK, let me mark another unread. OK, and now it is uh, two unread. And then let me mark another one real quick. OK, and, and now there's just a plus sign that shows many because I'm too lazy to do three or more. OK, so let's stop that real quick. OK, so that is my progress so far. And so now I'm in a kind of a pickle or I'm having a problem and I'm hoping that some open CV expert can help me. But right now I am using a frame right here. That is a four channel frame, right? BGRA. To use the hand and finger detection, we use a three channel RGB. So let's check out what that looks like real quick. So let me uncomment this. All right. And then let me switch our frames to the four channel frame. And let me show you what that looks like. OK, so now we are tracking my hand. All right, and my fingertip has a big pink dot on it. So my hand, here are all the points of the hand. And here is just my fingertip. Also, if we look at the console, it is printing out nothing right now. But once I put my hand back up, it's going to print the pixels for this too. So here we go. So let's take my fingertip. It's only tracking my fingertip and go to zero, zero. OK. Um, it's hard because on the webcam, it's the opposite. Anyways, all the way down here. And you can see the size of it. So what's the point of this? Well, once we do face and object recognition, I will have a green border around my face. And then we can just say, hey, when these pixels of my fingertip matches these pixels, do something, right? And then we can have true augmented reality. So that is my goal. But as you could tell, I'm in this pickle. So right now I'm using a three channel RGB and to use the previous heads up display that uses the four channel BGRA. So any experts out there, leave me a comment on how I can integrate these two at the same time. OK, so now let's go through the code and I can show you everything, all the nonsense I just did. So but before we do that, Welcome to the 136th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. 
So I'm not going to go over all this code. You can click um, the link that I gave in the beginning, the card, to watch how I set this up. Um, and also, you can check out this video, which is much better than mine. And I'll leave a link in the description. His name is Merzada's Robotics and Workshop. And he has the minimum code you need to just run the hands portion of it. So first, we're going to import the media pipe as MP. Um, zero. So all of this is in the previous video. So what I had to do here was, for some reason, it doesn't install from going here. Settings, Python interpreter, and then adding it. This is PyCharm and typing in media pipe, I get an error, but then I can just go to the command prompt, pip install media pipe, all one word like this, media pipe, and it installs just fine. And uh, then you just install, import the media pipe as MP. Okay, the rest of this is the normal code to set up your. OpenCV, again, watch the link in the description, the Merzada's Robotics and Workshop, and you can see a much better video of how to do this. So for the finger and hand detection, you start up MP hands, or whatever variable you want to use, equals MP, lowercase MP, right, because we imported media pipe as MP, dot solutions, dot hands, then the hands equals MP capital hands dot capital hands. And then we don't have to put anything in here because the default is what we need. And then we're going to import MP draw because that's how you saw the dots, the connections, and the pink circle. And that equals MP dot solutions dot drawing underscore utils for utilities. Then in our main loop, we're going to go down here and so you're going to establish this ret and frame equals cap dot read. So capture dot read. And then for me to do my Iron Man heads up, I establish a frame and that frame equals CV2 dot CVT capital color. Then we're going to pass this frame and then we're going to pass it the CV2 dot color BGRA. And we need these four channels because we extrapolate them and create the overlays. And I did that in the previous video. But for the finger detec detection, the um, documentation, so we create a hands frame equals CV2.CVT capital color, passing the same frame up here. But this time we use a CV2.color BGR2RGB. So it's just a three channel, right? Red, green, blue. And that's how the finger detection works. Then we want to get the results equals hands dot process. And we're going to pass it this hands frame. So for some reason, it doesn't like this. Um, what's it called? This method, but it does work. So if the results dot multi hand, multi underscore hand landmarks, and then for the hand landmarks hand LMS in the results, which is up here, dot multi hand landmarks. Then we're going to MP draw dot draw underscore landmarks hands frame this hand LMS, which is the landmarks and then hand connections. So what are the hand connections? Well, let's check what that looks like real quick. So what this is doing is it is showing you the hands connections. I'll put the link to this in the description, but this is the documentation of it. And so what it's doing is it's creating these 20 landmarks right here, and then it connects them together. So these greens are the connections. These are the landmarks right here. Right. And so all we're doing is we're drawing the green hand connections. And each one of these landmarks is an ID, right? This is ID zero, one, all the way up to 20. So actually there's 21 hand landmarks. So for each ID and landmark LM in, 
and we're going to enumerate through the hand LMS dot landmark. This is singular right here. Then we're going to get the hand width and the, I'm not sure what C is, hand width and C of the hands frame dot shape. So that's where the, right here. So there's three of this in the shape and the shape is right here, RGB. Then we're going to get the pixels, right? So we're going to take the X pixel and the Y pixel by doing an integer because right now these are floats. So the integer of LM landmark dot X times the width. Then we're, we created a tuple right here, CX and CY. We're going to take the integer of this landmark dot Y, which is the height, time, or Y coordinate, sorry, times the height. So now our Y coordinate is the height, which is right here. The X coordinate is the width, if you will, which is right here. And then we're going to use this landmark map to identify the point we want to highlight. So what I'm thinking of is some cool futuristic thing where I'm dragging and dropping things with just my fingertips. So I looked for ID number eight, which is right here. And then if the ID equals eight, so if I got rid of this, you would see index zero through 20. So 21 landmarks with all their X, Y coordinates. So your console print would be gigantic. Um, so for me, I just wanted for now to show you the ID of eight. Then we're going to do CV2 dot circle. We're going to draw on the hands frame. What we're going to draw or where we're going to draw is the pixels CX, CY. We're going to make it size 15. Uh, I used pink, but you can use whatever. And then we're going to fill it, right? CV2 dot filled fills in the circle versus just an outline. And then down here in the console, we're going to print the X pixel and the Y pixel. Then um, all of this is previous code. We're going to show CV2 dot I am show Shane. Um, Shane is just what's in the upper left and the hands frame. Right. And then the rest of this is the legacy code. So let's check that all out. Now we know what the hand looks like. So what we're drawing on now, this is the hands frame in the RGB color. And it's kind of uh, has this gray blue hue to it. Then, as you can see, the 21 landmarks are being shown. And I didn't show you this before, but the default setting is to show two hands. So if I showed a third hand, it would not recognize that. And as you can see, it can recognize the difference between left and right because it still recognizes my index. And also, more impressively, it measures the back of the hand, too. That's nice. And so there's the 21 landmarks. And then the green lines are the connections. And then these are the pink dots on ID number 8. Now, in production, I would get rid of all of that. But this is how you would test that it's working. And like I said, when these two touch points, if this were to touch my face and I had fa face recognition on, which we've done in previous videos, it says if this pink dot hits the bounding box, do something. And that's how we get augmented reality. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope there's an open CV expert that can tell me how to connect these two and how to resolve this um, four channel BGRA used to create the overlays versus an RGB, which is what the uh, code requires for this um, hand detection, right? It uses the RGB before processing it. And like this video, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.